Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of slope-intercept form, specifically how we could write it from problem situations, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So we've got two different problem situations here, and this is pretty typical of some real-world scenarios that you might see in an 8th grade math class. And so let's take a look at this first one. Tariq bought some fruit, had it delivered to his home, and we're going to get some money here, right? We're going to get $1.25 a pound with a $5 delivery fee. Now, they're going to start giving us some variables. That should be our first clue that we're going to need to write this in our slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. So write an equation that shows the relationship between p, the pounds of fruit, and c, the total cost. So my pounds of fruit is this right here. And then I'm looking for the total cost. So sometimes they won't give you the y and the x. So really this y is going to end up being that c. So let's rewrite it right here. So this c is going to end up as my total, right? And then my p is going to be my pounds. And then this b is going to be this uh, y-intercept. So let's see what happens here. So let's say I want to buy one pound, right? Well, if I wanted to buy one pound, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up purchasing um, this one pound, which is P, and we know it's going to cost $1.25 for that pound, so I'm just going to put that P right there, plus my Y-intercept here is Five because I've got a $5 delivery fee. And I know this is my y-intercept because it's not related to any units right here. So it's not dependent upon how many pounds I buy. If I buy 10 pounds, then my delivery fee is $5. If I buy zero pounds, my delivery fee is $5 if they showed up with no pounds. If I spent thousands of dollars and, and got 500 pounds, my delivery fee is still going to be $5. So that means that if I were to graph this right here, I'm not going through the origin, which means it is not proportional. It's not going through that. I'm going to start right here at $5. If my x is 0, I'm going to start right there. I'm going to move up this way. And my slope and that's my M right there, is going to be 125. So that's what it would look like there. It would be something like this, 125P plus that $5 delivery fee. Let's see what it looks like over here on this other problem. Carlos is purchasing a gaming computer on a payment plan. He paid an initial payment of $100 and then $75 each month. Notice the same thing, right? We're going to get one uh, amount that is standing alone right here and then we are going to get another one that is tied to a unit so we need to write an equation that shows the relationship between m the number of months right here and c the total cost so y equals m x plus b but in this case our y is going to be our total cost and then our X is going to be the total of months, so that's kind of confusing, right? It would look like this MM. Remember, this M is just the slope plus this B. So let's see what happens when we have zero months. Well, we've still got this $100. It's not related to any unit. So that is going to be my Y-intercept. So I'm paying $100 initially. That stays the same. After five months, it's still $100. After 10 months, it's still $100. So it's $75 a month. So that's going to be our slope, right? So $75 per month. So we're going to kind of re replace this slope with that 75. And then my total cost is C. So $75 a month plus that initial 100. Once again, it is non proportional because it is not passed through the origin. Right, if we put a zero right there at zero months, we're starting at this 100 right here. We're moving up this way at 75 a month, and that is going to be my slope. And that's how you can write these equations in slope-intercept form.